so the first thing to do is to download and install Liragon so we head off to liragon.org liragon.org we are going to download and install this software but before I explain to you what Liragon is you see for your website to function the web pages that form the website should be stored on a computer and this computer is used to host the website by storing the pages of the website it also has a software that processes and delivers the web pages to you whenever you request for them so whenever you open a web browser and enter a website address or any such query the web browser actually sends a request to the web server of that website and this request is called http request so the server then delivers to you a file or a web page which includes text images and other multimedia if available to the web browser the web browser after receiving this when the web browser receives this file it begins to render it to your screen then it shows to you as the website now Liragon is going to help us to do something similar so let's download Liragon so you head on to this place then I recommend downloading the full one so you can see your download will start shortly as indicated here so we save the file now as this file is being saved let's talk more about why we are going to use Liragon in the first place this Liragon is going to serve as a local server to us. Why local? It's a local server because it's going to be installed and operated only on your device, your computer. So you cannot access the website stored on it with a different device. And this also means that it doesn't require data to access the web pages that are stored on it. So let's await the download of Miragon. When it gets downloaded, we are going to install it. Then we are going to have our WordPress website website started so that we can develop it fully from beginning to end and have something as beautiful as this one. So I think the software has finished downloading. Good. So we are going to double click on this to install it. So you run it. So any prompt that comes on your computer, you have to accept it to make the software fully done, fully installed, actually. So we follow the instructions. So it is installing at the C, the C drive of my computer's disk space. So you can choose a different place that you want to install it. However, I prefer exactly that location by default. Then you can install it. So this particular software 
is going to help us in the local development of our website and it helps many other software developers and website developers to also develop website applications through various means and the reason why we are going to use this is the fact that it can allow us to use just one click to install WordPress it also has inbuilt PHP system you can enable PHP it's already enabled actually which I talked about as PHP being the programming language that powers WordPress then you have a server too on this software called Apache Apache is actually a web server software the most popular one actually then we have my SQL also enabled on this particular software and that one is what will run the database of our website so we have full features of the software that will enable us to be able to get our website started and completed and more importantly database driven for that matter so let's get the software fully installed almost done great so keep this option checked run Liragon so that after we indicate that it should be finished it just opens to us afterwards great so this is the area that we can use to control the website and other features so this is our control panel so the start all here is going to start various software on this particular one that will enable us have the website's features to function so start all So you can see Apache server enabled or started. Then my SQL database also started. Great. So we are now going to proceed to install our WordPress. So we right click on it and then we select Quick App. After right clicking, we select Quick App. Let me do this again quick app so we have WordPress here among the options we just choose it then we are now going to start the actual thing so we are going to name the project so it can be any name I can choose to use my name so Ben this is going to be the website name after doing that the system will now create the database so you can see that says that the database has been created the database with the name Ben has been created now it is extracting WordPress so that it installs for us and we see the progress bar here now as we are waiting for the installation to be complete this is going to be the website address of our application so whatever name you used is going to be that name dot test now notice that this one is not a domain that can be accessed by any other device it is just a local development so anything you enter here in the web browser is going to be opened only on your device once you have this software enabled So let's wait for it to be 100%. Then we can launch it and start working on it. So it's 100% now. Great. We're waiting for the actual completion.
Okay, so new project detected. We have a command here to approve. So Windows is asking whether we would like these changes to be made on the laptop and we have accepted that. Good. So it's giving us a lot of updates regarding that. So this is the whole thing. We finished installing WordPress. We can access our website on this laptop by using this particular link. This link. So we can go to visit site then it will open with the default browser of our computer and show it to us so let's wait as this happens great so we are going to proceed with the installation of wordpress so language of course you can choose any language here in this case is English then we continue we are going to provide information of the website so that we get it completed so site title I just want to use Ben as site title my username also can be anything such as Ben and then my password so you can change the password to one that you recall. These credentials are what you are going to use to log in to your administrator dashboard, which you will use to manage every facet of the website. So these details should be handy so that you can recall them and use them to log in. You can optionally provide your email address then proceed to install WordPress so once again everything taking place here is just on our local computer because we have enabled all the features that will allow us to do so so great we've had it done WordPress has been installed. Thank you and enjoy. Now we have our username, what I choose, and the password is the one that I, of course, the one that I choose. So we can now log in. We can now log in to the dashboard. So notice something here in the address bar. The actual domain that was generated is ben.test which I can access it here to see what has happened. The actual website, what, there was a mistake, sorry. So ben.test to see the website. So great, this is the website. You see the website name, then there's just another statement and this is what happens by default so we are going to work on this to change everything to make it beautiful so back to the place that we can use to manage the website the administrator dashboard you see the name is the website address slash wp dash login dot php you will have to keep this in mind because you are going to use this to log in Another approach is to enter your website name and then slash wp hyphen admin. It also takes you to the same page where you'll be able to log in to your administrator dashboard. So username I provided was Ben. Then my password, then I hit login. Great, so this is my administrator dashboard. This is the WordPress dashboard. 
This has various elements that and options or features that you can use to manage every facet of your website. Whatever you do here affects the appearance and functionality of the website here. So in our next video, we are going to go through every feature of the dashboard and see how to use this feature so that we get ourselves abreast with the dashboard and how to use it.